I'm Ryan Slocum at Michigan State for the Division IV softball state title game between Rudyard and the defending champion Unionville Seabwing. The Patriots came in riding a 35-game winning streak. Morgan Bickle in the circle trying to slow them down. This will help a diving grab by the pitcher in the first. But USA already had a 1-0 lead in the second when Emily Ryman goes shopping at the gap. Macy Montgomery scores all the way from first. That makes it a 2-0 game. One batter later, Emma Stecker sends a shot to left that gets stuck under the fence. Ryman scores to put the Pats up 3-0 after two. And the hit parade continues in the third. Gabriella Crum rips one down the third baseline. Grace Williamson comes home to make it a 4-0 game. The freshman had four RBI on the day. Still in the third, it's Ryman back up the box. Olivia Jabbar comes around to put USA up six zip. Meanwhile, Bryn Polega took a perfect game into the fourth. The senior retired the first 10 batters she faced, eight by strikeout. The Bulldogs do finally break through in the fourth. Megan Postma singles to left. The senior Desta McDowell slides in to get Rudyard on the board but the Patriots go right back to work in the fifth. Bases loaded for Macy Reinhardt, who hits a looper just over the shortstop's head. Macy Montgomery and Ryman both score to make it eight to one. Olega helped her own cause with two hits on the night. This one in the seventh brings in Reinhardt. The Patriots put five on it in the seventh. Ryman had three RBI and tied a title game record with four hits, while USA broke the title game mark as a team with 20 hits. And speaking of records, Holega set a new championship game mark with 19 Ks, including striking out the side in the seventh to end it. Unionville Seabwing goes back to back, beating Rudyard for the D4 title 14 to 1. It's the Patriots' seventh state championship overall. It feels awesome. It's the best feeling. I mean, having back to back with a year off in the middle, but um, this is what I've wanted since a little girl, and having it as a, as a senior has been the best. It's awesome. It trickles down. like. Our girls were the girls that were watching the 2015-16 teams. I want to be the next whoever. And and now you have all those other girls in the stand saying, I want to be the next, you know, Bryn or next Lacey Harris, whoever. It's just tradition. It's a culture. It, it truly is. So it's just, it's cool to be a part of, especially since I'm from there. So. <laughs>